In this command line video, we're going to introduce you to the VI editor, which is, uh, there's also a version called Vim, and we'll talk about those differences. We'll introduce just sort of the basic concepts of using VI and how to move around within a file. In future videos, we'll get into more editing. Okay, so let's just start out real quickly by talking about VI and Vim. The command itself, when you want to work, uh, edit a file, say, is, is just type VI and then the file name. Uh, and that's a visual editor for the command line. It's pretty old school. There's also Vim, um, and this is the more common editor that people use today between the two. Um, and basically has some niceties that make it easier to work with. The nice thing is that if you know VI commands, those will also work in Vim. Uh, but the reverse is not always true. Now if I uh, look and see where my VI command is coming from by using which here, and then I list, I'm going to list all of my uh, all my commands in user bin that begin with VI, so we can sort of see all of the, the stuff I have here. You'll notice that VI is actually a symlink to Vim. So when I type the command VI, it's actually running Vim in the background for me. This is a very common setup and is what you'll find on most systems. Um, but sometimes you end up on a system that only has VI and doesn't have Vim. And that's when knowing the VI shortcuts is important. Um, I also wanted to show you real quickly this Vim Tutor. You just type in the command Vim Tutor and it brings you, it opens up VI. And, uh, and gives you instructions and walks you through a lot of things. It's really handy. Um, it doesn't take that long. It does take time, but you can always come back to it and kind of pick up or review things. So it's a really handy thing that you have locally. I'm going to show you how to get out of here, which is by doing a colon Q, which appears at the bottom of the line here. And we'll talk more about this uh, when we go edit our file. But colon Q is how you quit out of a file. Okay, so now let's actually go get something to play with. Uh, we'll get our own file and, and start playing around. Um, I just copied a recent article that Dave did on lullabot.com, put it in a text file so we have something to work with. Um, so I'm going to go in there, and then I'm going to type VI and then the file name. And that will open that file in the VI editor. So VI, context panels, boom. And that's how I get into my file. Uh, it, with the editor. Now you notice at the bottom when I when I um, open the file up, uh, it's giving me some information in this bottom line. So that's the name of the file, the number of lines, the number of characters. Um, this stuff isn't necessarily going to stay here. Um, then over on the right hand side, you'll see these two numbers with a comma. That is giving the line and position. So I'm in the first line at the first character right now. Uh, and then all the way over, it's telling me I'm at the top of the file. And you'll see these two things will change, um, and top will show the percentage of where I am re uh, relatively in the file. These two are going to stay over here, and you'll see them change as we move around and do things. And you'll just generally notice in VI, this bottom line is sort of a, a console. It's your, it's, it can be a command line as well as an information line here. And that's sort of always there for you. Now when moving around, um, sort of instinctually you want to hit the enter key and that lets me move down. Um, I can also use arrow keys on my keyboard here to go up and uh, to go down and go sideways. You really need to understand that this is a Vim feature and that you can't do this in VI if you have plain VI. The way you need to do it if you're in VI is you need to use letter keys. These three letter keys on your keyboard, H will make the cursor go left J will make it go down, K makes the cursor go up, and L will make the cursor go right. Um, and it's just a matter of taking the time to get familiar with these keys. Um, it's really good to know because if you end up in a VI only environment, this is how you move around. You can't use your little arrow keys that uh, so many people get used to. So if I come back to my document here, now I'm just going to use the letter keys. So I'll use H to go left, J down, K up. Let me move where I can go right here. And then L will make me go right. It's very important to know if you end up in a VI only environment because your arrow keys are not going to work. Um, another thing you can do with these is you can type a number before either of these. So if I want to go down three lines, I could just type 3J and I go down. Same thing with K. I could do, you know, 4K and I go up for 
lines. So that's also just a handy thing and you'll see that pattern repeat itself in other commands. Everything that we've been doing, I've been typing letters, but I'm not actually editing any text. I'm not typing text in. I've just been doing things. I'm in command mode. VI is a modal editor. If I hit I, you'll see this insert comes at the bottom. Now I can insert text. Um, so previously I was in command mode. Now I'm in insert mode. And now when I type my HJKL letters, instead of moving around the screen, I'm actually typing text in. This is an important thing to know, to move back and forth between actually inserting or, or just executing commands. Um, to delete this stuff, I can hit my, my back delete key here. So I'm doing that. Um, you can also, just like a, on the regular command line, if I do control H, that will delete my text backwards as well. We'll look more at editing in the next video, but it's very important to understand moving back and forth. If Now to get back to command mode, I hit the escape key and you notice the insert went away. It's important to know whether you're in insert mode or command mode because your letter keys are going to do different things. When in doubt, always hit escape, get into command mode, and then you can start over and, and figure out what's going on from there. But now you can see I'm in command mode and I can just move around. Insert, escape. You need to play with that a little bit and, and get familiar with it. But like I said, when in doubt, hit escape. You'll go back to command mode. So I've been in command mode just typing letters on my keyboard. I want to show you another one, uh, another type of command. If you type a colon when you're in command mode, you type a colon, you're going to get this little sort of command line at the bottom. Uh, and for super uber geeks, this is called X commands in VI, if you want to impress the geekies. Um, so once I type a colon, there are different kinds of commands I can do. Um, I can just type a number and it will just take me to that line number in this document. So if I want to jump down to line 112, I just do colon 112 and it takes me to that line in the document. You can see that down here that I've moved to line 112 and I'm 72% through my document. Um, I can do colon 1, takes me back to the beginning of the document. So that's a really fast and easy way to move to particular lines uh, within a document. Just colon, number, done. Another way that you can do this, um, going back to using letters versus using the X command, um, is to use the capital letter G. So if I do three and then shift G for capital G, that takes me to the third line. Same thing, 112, shift G will take me, it does exactly the same thing. Um, one G takes me to the top. There's, it's really nice if you just do shift G, a capital G, you will go to the bottom of the file. You see I'm at the bottom. Um, you just go directly to the bottom of the file um, without having to type line numbers or know how many numbers or any of that thing. So it's really nice. Um, so you can use either one to move around. They both work perfectly fine. Okay, um, so we've been moving up and down lines, but let's just take some quick looks like within a line, how do I, I move back and forth. Um, to go forward, I can, by word, if you type W, it will move you forward a word at a time through a line. To go back, you do B. You'll go back a word at a time. Um, so W, forward a word, B, back a word. To move to the end of the line, you just do a dollar sign shoot you to the end. A zero, the number zero, not the letter O, the number zero moves you to the front. So dollar sign end, zero is the uh, beginning of the line. And then uh, the last uh, thing that we'll look at here in terms of just moving around is how to page through a document. Control F will take me down, you know, a page at a time, a screen at a time. And the Control B will take me back a page at a time, um, all the way back up to the top. So control F goes down, control B goes up or forward, backwards. Um, so that's the basics of moving around. Um, now I want to show you, we're going to look at that, that quitting again, how to actually get out of my document. I've looked things over, it's all good. Remember the colon, we're going to do an X command to quit, and then you do Q, and that would be to quit. Now when I do it this time though, it's giving me this little error. It's not letting me quit. It's because I've made changes. I did edits. Remember, I did that insert and I did some edits. And so it says, hey, you didn't save your changes. So I'm not just going to quit. So I'm going to do colon Q 
and then an exclamation point. And that says, no, really, quit. I know I didn't save it. That's cool. It's going to quit and not save any of the changes that you made. It's just going to get out of the document, go back to what it was originally. So those are the basics of getting into a file, moving around, and then getting back out again. Next time, we'll look at editing. Thank <laughs> you.